Hi YouTube, this is We All Juggle Knives and Lights with a review of the Olight X7 Marauder. This produces up to 9,000 lumens. It is the brightest light in its category currently. Aside from specially built custom lights, this is the brightest production light that runs on four 18650 batteries. Now, being brighter than every other light that I have is a great way to get your light featured on my channel. This was sent to me by Olight themselves for a testing, demonstration, review, and critique. There you see the reflector and emitter setup. All right, you got the orange, orange peel texture and those three reflector wells, and you have three emitters, right? And each of those three has four different uh, parts to it. This is a floodlight. It's not meant as a long range thrower, it makes a wall of light at close range. There you see the light in hand. So as you can see, it's got kind of a grenade texture for added grip. It's all controlled by that side switch. And this is what they call a soda can configuration for a light. It, it is short, but fairly big in diameter. Now there you see the lumens and the run times for the different modes. It's basically got six different brightness levels. They've got what they call night light, which is moonlight. And then they have low, medium, high, turbo, and turbo S, which is like a turbo for the turbo. And it also has strobe, right? Now the runtime for the turbo S is only two and a half minutes. Now there's a shortcut to the moonlight mode or night light. You just long press and that is the night light mode. You know, it's just good for reading it's not going to blind you. To get to the next three modes, well, you just press it to turn it on and it has a memory function, right? Now you just hold that down to cycle through low, medium, and high. And the high mode is, is like the turbo on many other lights. I mean, as far as how bright that high mode is. If you double click, you get turbo. Double click again, and that is turbo S. Now, 9,000 lumens is just ungodly bright. I mean, it's really just a sea of light. I mean, you can almost, uh, you know, see the bones in your hand with that. Strobe warning. Triple tap brings you strobe, and that will blind anyone you need to. Now, to install or replace the batteries, you just unscrew that tail cap right there. As I said, it takes four 18650 batteries, two up, two down configuration. Now it takes these batteries, they have to have the uh, button top, right? They specifically say that as opposed to flat top. Now this part is really important. To get to that 9000 lumen turbo mode, your batteries have to be able to be capable of uh, doing at least eight amps. Now typical batteries of this type, even good ones, a lot of them are five or six amps. So they had to make uh, basically special batteries for this light or, you know, they buy them and then brand them. So instead of the normal Olight batteries, you have to use ones that have the HDC marking. Okay, high discharge batteries. Mine are unmarked, but that's because they sent them to me. But the production ones have to have that marking. Here is a size comparison with some other extremely bright lights. Now, the whole thing about this Olight is that it's capable of so many lumens. So, you know, the review has to address, is the 9000 lumen figure accurate? I believe it is because I have tested it relative to other lights I have that are extremely bright. And I have a head-to-head -head comparison coming up where you'll see the same scene lit up by all four of these lights. And I think you'll see the Olight is indeed brighter. So next to the Olight, we have a Thrunite TN36UT, a Nywalker MM15MB, and a Jetbeam T6. Okay, here is the head-to-head -head comparison. So here is the footage. Now I've labeled uh, each little frame with the light and the lumens of that light. The Olight is uh, up in the left upper corner, or quadrant. Now, if you look at the testing board, they all look pretty much like whiting out the board, right? But if you look over at the grass that's next to the testing board, you can clearly see 
the olite whites out that grass more than the others. Then if you look at the through night, you can see slightly more green, and then the nigh walker slightly more, and the jet beam slightly more green on that grass. Now a camera is not the same as the human eye, but it does give us some basis, right? So again, uh, you can clearly see the olite is just whiting things out just that little bit more. Now all of these lights are floodlights, except for the jet beam. I just needed a fourth light that was pretty bright, right? So that jet beam actually has longer range than all these other lights, even though it is the least bright. And here is the O light. We're going to cycle through the modes. That is the low mode. All right, that's low, medium, and high cycling through. Now we're going to go to turbo with a double click. That's the turbo. And now we're going to do turbo S. Right, with the other, the next double click, that is Turbo S. So legit 9,000 lumens. Strobe warning. Triple tap will bring strobe. And that is going to be, I mean, incredibly disorienting in an emergency situation. All right, now just some uh, highlights of my testing footage showing the flood effect of this light on some roads with no lights. I mean, this thing brings the daylight. Look at that. I mean, look at how much of that scene at the creek is being lit up. A floodlight gives you a close range wall of light. It just spews the light out everywhere. If you needed to light up like the side of a large building, this would be perfect. That's a soccer goal. Now, this is not meant as a thrower. But because it is so bright, it actually can reach that goal from more than the length of the field. I'm not even standing on the field itself. So it can't even stretch to that goal. Not as good as a thrower, but still for a floodlight, amazing. Okay, this is the backyard up in the second story window. Uh, keep focusing on the lower middle of your view. There's a creature. You see it? That is a possum. This thing is so bright that, I mean, I was just testing it out the window. Look at the little possum. And apparently that possum was near my compost bin or maybe under the porch. And I bet that is the most confused possum ever because this is so bright. I think the possum thought it was daylight, right? They're nocturnal creatures. That was pr I've never caught a possum before with a light, you know, lots of deer and raccoons and skunks. So pretty cool hunting possum with this light. Okay, I hope you liked all my testing footage and this is just in case you want to see it in the uh, belt holster that it comes with, has a Velcro overflap and a belt loop that's pretty cool. Okay, so pros and cons, you know, final conclusions. Well, the benefit of the light is obvious, it's, it's just super bright, so I think people understand you know, the major selling point, what would be some ways to improve it or some critiques? The main thing you have to be aware of is the run times, especially with the turbo modes. Uh, the run time for Turbo S is only two and a half minutes, and it's only eight minutes for turbo, right? And then these will step down significantly. The run time for the high mode is uh, 32 minutes. So you know, once you've uh, basically run through the Turbo S and Turbo mode, you're looking at a light that's basically 3,000 lumens. Like, that's what it is in the high mode. And because the Turbo and Turbo S modes uh, have such short run times, they can't have you accidentally going into those modes, so they made those hidden modes. In other words, they're not in the normal mode cycle. You have to double click to get to turbo and then double click again to get to turbo S, right? So that's um, that's kind of inconvenient, especially having to double click twice to get to the highest mode. But they were pretty much forced to go that route because they can't have you putting it in turbo S accidentally and just uh, draining that battery so quickly. The other major thing you got to be aware of is those batteries. Now, it does not come with the batteries, but you can order them separately. 
Uh, the current price was around $72 for four of those batteries and around uh, $18 for um, a two-slot charger, which I think they need a four-slot charger. That would just be more convenient for a light that takes four batteries. But that don't adds, like that pack would add almost $100 to the price, and the current price of the light itself is around $200. Okay, so a substantial investment. Also, I do wish it could take flat top batteries because there are uh, some very high drain batteries available because of vaping. Uh, we're talking 20 amp batteries. And you could use them in the light if uh, this could take flat tops. So the fact that it has to be button tops, it, it's kind of limiting your options there. And the last thing is just the inherent limitation of the flood style of light, right? It's great for short range, it's great for a wide area at short range, but it's not so good for long range. Of course, you're pretty much accepting that when you're on the market for a flood light, so I'm not going to penalize them the light for being in the category that it is. It's great. It's great for a flood light. Now, those critiques are not meant to detract from the awesome quality of the light as a whole. First of all, Olight just has a solid reputation which they've earned, right, for quality. And 9000 lumens, it really is just incredible. Basically, if you want the brightest floodlight, this is what you want. Now, those drawbacks I mentioned, well, of course, you have to be aware of them when you make such an investment, but overall, Incredibly impressive light. Hope you enjoyed seeing it. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Lights.